Everybody wants to be a part of the winning team. The validation of hard work, the recognition. It's nice to be called successful. Today it seems like the titles of winners and losers are dissolving quickly, but that doesn't mean the feelings associated with them are, especially in high school. Naturally, not everyone can be a winner, no matter how many ribbons, certificates, or trophies we hand out. La Cunada is riddled with some very successful people, in industry and in the halls of our schools. Average incomes are higher, our schools are stronger, and our streets are safer. The common standards and expectations have been raised. When you mix these higher standards with already very successful students, an interesting thing happens. Students gravitate more and more to the winning teams as those that are labeled as losing fade to the background. To find out why, we talked with students and faculty in our choral and football programs. Students are drawn to quality programs, especially students here at La Cunada. So if they see something that they think is quality or it's fun or it's a positive place to be, then they will, I think, they'll, I think that's attractive to students. The choirs have been successful um, over the years. Um, you know, they're considered one of the finest um, programs anywhere. And I think that's attractive to La Cunada people. If you look at the other programs on this campus, I'll use a non-athletic program as an example. You look at our choir program, um, I think that it's really unique here that the number of students that are involved in the choir program and the type of students that are involved. Um, if you go to other campuses, you don't see a large proportion of athletes in choir. And here you do. And it's because the program has had success, the community stands behind it, um, they know that their children are being taken care of and they're being taught something that's beneficial. And students have said to me, you know, I wouldn't be in choir, but my mom really wanted me to be in choir. Um, my mom really wanted me to join it um, <laughs> from when I was like in sixth grade and I already sang, um, I did voice lessons. And I think for the past six years, every single choir from 7-8 to, um, to high school has gotten superior and it's pretty awesome. We all like to be part of something that's successful. We have four schools, three other schools surrounding us. We're getting one fourth of the athletes and a majority of them are going to St. Francis, the more skilled ones, because they want to join the winning program instead of build a winning program. It's a frustrating thing to have yourself give 100% effort, 100% dedication, and to still lose like this because someone else isn't as good. And maybe they're not as good because they have skill, but they're not as good because they don't want to win. They don't, they don't want to put in that work you want to do. And it's kind of frustrating to see that you have to have all 11 men help. You have to have another guy, five, seven guys on the sidelines to help. You need effort from your coaches, from the board. You need your AD, you need your trainer. It's a very big sport and you need a lot of help and you need a lot of different factors and gears in this sport. And people that individually want success won't find that here. We're all comfortable with earning the credit for success on our own, but we fear individual failure because we feel that the things we do, however successful or not, will become who we are. Is that why we protect ourselves and the success of others? Why we join the winning teams, however disinterested we are in them, instead of making our own? There's definitely been issues on the team where you'll have people that don't agree with how much we have to work and how much we have to do. There's other people that are willing to work and put it but don't want to have to spend four hours after school to have a four and six season. They don't want to spend all that time to have a 77-0 blowout. But the true feeling about this sport, the reason why I play it and the reason why the other players play it isn't to win. It's because we love this sport and it's because we love being together and we love the bonds it creates. So many people get caught up in the scores and the time you have to put in and in the pain and all the other junk. We don't care about that. We're here for the players, we're here for our brothers, and a lot of people don't see that other side of the sport or of our team. I think what um, we really have to look at is before their success, there's a lot of work that goes into building that success. Um, the choir program didn't get to where it was by this year's students. Not saying that they don't work hard because now it's just expected that everybody works hard, but at some point there had to be a founding group that worked really hard and took it to the next level. You don't only see that with Chamber, you see it with so many other exclusive groups on campus, like you know ASB or um, even like the top teams of certain sports, like they're all exclusive. And since La Cunada has this mindset that they have to be perfect, 
there is a lot of the students I feel have set all these top groups or all these exclusive groups as their goal for high school. I think they're afraid to do that simply because they have such a microscope on them, especially because locking out, everything's expected out of them. They're expected to go somewhere big. They're expected to go to a brand name school. They're expected and they can't mess up. They can't, you know, get any, they don't want to get tardies. They don't want to get any absences, truancies. They don't want to get a C, God forbid. I mean, a lot of students are just, they want to have that perfect transcript. And they're trying so hard to have that perfect cookie cutter transcript that they don't realize that colleges aren't looking for that. And they don't want to take the risks and they don't want to do something that'll make them lower the GPA. They don't want to do that. And I think that's just sad. They're not getting the best high school experience they can be because they're trying to have a better you know, year in the future. Coach Zerbel talked of the necessity for a founding group, a group who came along that worked hard and worked hard for the right reasons, out of desire and passion, not in pursuit of prestige. These founding groups, founding people are walking the halls of our campus every day, already successful, but perhaps for the wrong reasons. Success is a difficult thing to come by, even here in our town where it is apparently dense. But when it's found, it's only made meaningful through our personal investment in it, when we have people to share that success with. A winning team only takes a few people to make. A winning team doesn't need to earn the trophies and the titles. They just need to be playing for the right reasons.